I have been overweight all my life. I have done everything, diets, exercise, activity, gone to doctors who gave me amphetamines, etc., but none of it worked. Objectivist friends tell me that I am not a good person because of this. Is it wrong to, <laughs> to be overweight? No, certainly uh, no. Overweight as such, the moral has to be defined by the possible. One of the things wrong with Christianity is they give you uh, impossible goals, uh, such as don't have any interest in the flesh, and then say all men are imperfect. The, po the moral has to be the possible. So if what you said is true, it's literally impossible, then uh, take it. Uh, it's, a, it's perfectly moral. You can't do anything else. I would try to watch your, you know, the things that would affect your health, do whatever you can. And uh, I think the amount of overweight is relevant here. For instance, if you're 30, 40, 50 pounds overweight, I mean, I don't see that's an issue. Uh, I wouldn't want to be that, but I don't think that's a moral question. But let's suppose I was at a concert uh, the other night, and the gentleman sitting next to me was truly gigantic. And uh, we got into a conversation, and he said, you know, I've lost 100 pounds in the last year. I, you know, I was just really amazed what he must have been before. And he said the secret was uh, I had a gastric tube put in that closed off part of my stomach. So I have to eat very slowly, mostly liquid or very well chewed foods. And uh, uh, my appetite is down, my intake is down, and I'm losing systematically two pounds a week. Now, I am certainly not advocating that you have surgery. But I think if it's really big overweight, you should at least, for your own longevity and health, explore, you know, the bariatrics uh, uh, field, to which does uh, the surgery for uh, major cases, and at my understanding, often successfully. I have to just also recommend that you check out University of California at Irvine has neurological papers released on the relation between the absorption of food in the stomach and in recognition by the brain that it's eaten enough and has devised a diet on that basis, which they call the slow diet, which they say works no matter what you eat or how much you eat or whether you exercise or what your psychology is. So if you're interested, I've had good results, I must say. Check out the slow diet.